So soft tissue massage is a technique used by people every day. Used by physiotherapists, massage therapists, myotherapists, osteopaths, chiropractors, a whole range of professions. So some ways it may be beneficial, it may increase blood flow and it may increase the lymph circulation. It's also hypothesised that it might increase the gene responsible for mitochondria production, which may then promote better recovery. It also may decrease cortisol levels and increase serotonin and dopamine, which might have some beneficial effects. We've then got our pain gate theory, which we're all quite familiar with. There's also the new theory of diffuse noxious inhibitory control and its benefits potentially from the use of massage, as well as unsmudging of the somatosensory cortex and using the massage and touch to clear out some of those homuncular areas. We can also change perception using massage, especially in dysfunctional positions. And then of course there's a good old placebo effect. So we've talked about how soft tissue massage may work. We're going to show you a, a technique now, a way to transition from the traditional table-based massage to a more upright functional position. So we're going, to take, we're going to use the example of someone who has pain on right side bending. We're going to take them to a position just prior to where they get pain and give them some external stability. In this case, we're using our squat cage. So we've got Andrew in this position, and what we're going to do is I'm going to then come in and just start to perform some massage while Andrew articulates into side bending right, just short of his barrier where he has pain. And by doing this, we're creating some effective changes in some functional positions, and he feels supported, and he also can understand why we're sort of performing this and how it's going to carry over to his task. We're also changing the perception and the input to hopefully then change the output once we finish with the technique.